Okay, so we are at Piggy, 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 Piggy Fights. Piggy, Piggy. I didn't realize how funny it would be to say that. Okay, so apparently there's actually a lot of action going on now. So I really should pull, start pulling profits somewhere to start funding us. Unfortunately, Zilla Finance is still in the Genesis period, so I'm not really going to ape in anymore uh, in a pig shares. I, I put in a lot of money into pig shares. In fact, when I was pulling profits from Zilla Finance, right before the whole shit show happened uh, with the change of the contracts, I actually put more of that money into piggy shares because Dow King was in the elite discord was like, yo, Harb, you gotta, you gotta buy this shit, All right? Well, actually, we both know each other. Well, I mean, I don't know his name, but he's like, Johnson, Harb, you gotta, you gotta buy this shit, all right? You gotta, I'm not gonna tell you how much he put in, but he put in a lot, all right? When Dow King puts in a lot of money in something, you know that there's like a near 100% chance that it's probably a good bet, all right? So he, so he put in a shit ton. I was like, oh shit, you put in that much? I was like, okay, I'll, I'll and then I told him how much I'm going to put in. Not nearly as big as his stack, because remember, I got fucked on Metaverse Pro, right? This is why you never go all in on something. Even if it's piggy fine, so you don't go all in, all right? That, that's a rule, because that one time you fuck up, hey, it's like gambling, actually. You keep doubling your money at the blackjack table or whatever, eventually you're going to lose, and then you lose everything. Right? That's how the casinos get you. Uh, so anyway, I put in a shit ton into piggy shares, which is P shares, and of course they have the nice thing I always talked about in the last video, right, with Draco Finance, the convenient little buttons here to add the tokens, right, always useful, it's even animated a little bit too, actually it's animated really nicely, it's got the charts and all that stuff, right, so I have it already opened over here. So all that matters is the P shares, you want these piggy shares, ASAP, all right, so uh, why are these going up like crazy when it used to be like 300 to 360 bucks? By the way, that's what I bought it at. So, <laughs> right. Uh, so it's because, all right, so there's a little bit of conflicting info. I'm checking the Discord in the previous uh, message history by typing in the search box partnership. Okay, so... Apparently, Toon Fork itself announced a partnership via Toon Fork or 2.0 that they're... Okay, so there's something very confused. Okay, now that I actually think about what I'm about to tell you. Okay, so it's just idiots just not interpreting it correctly. So apparently, 2.0 themselves on their end did say that, yes, they will semi-confirm. I say semi. They semi-confirm that they're partnering with Piggy Finance, all right? Also, I might have privileged information that Dow King told me, so I'm not going to tell you that. And then on Piggy Finances, and they said they are partnering with Tuo, right? Kind of. They're not. They they kind of said it, but they didn't formally announce it. And the way Tuo said it was they had like like the the according to the Discord chat, right? The public one in Piggy. No, in two ohm or you know, in piggy finance, they said uh, like like uh, they just said that like someone from their end kind of said it, but they just said it. They didn't sit, do it much more than that. So they're kind of keeping things under wraps. Now I think the likelihood that this is actually true, because you know if two ohms involved, then you know Harry E himself is going to be involved. All right, so eventually, right? So everyone's just pricing that in. So right now it's six ninety one. They're just buying this shit up. I bought that shit up, right? Of course, Dow King bought that shit up. And now that we're getting a little bit more info, it's pretty obvious. Like, yeah, this is probably true, right? So that's why we're going to piggy finance. So with that being said, let me think. With that being said. I forgot what the point of all of this was. Oh, yeah. So what I think is happening is the partnerships are basically confirmed under the table, not revealing to the public. And you have to ask yourselves, why would you do something like that? Oh, that's right. It would push up the price. Well, why would that be a problem? Oh, because everybody, because the devs. I mean, at this point, I'm going to go out and say it. The devs 
uh, from both all projects. Their whale friends, and of course Harry E and his whale friends are quietly accumulating this shit, but they don't want to, but remember, when you're a multi-billionaire like he is, and his friends are at least multi-hundred decamillionaires, right? You know, they probably want to acquire a ton of these tokens, right? A lot of these picky, picky, picky shares. Well, here's the problem. When you're that rich, you can't just go in and buy like a million dollars. The price is going to shoot up to like, you know, $50,000 $50, a share. Price impact. So you got to buy a little bit over time. Buy a little and a little a little. Now the problem is, everyone's actually generally, at least the smart money, is smart enough to just look at these charts all day. I look at the charts all day. What do you think is going to happen if someone notices every minute, every two minutes, someone is buying, and it's the same address essentially, right? Buying $50,000, $25,000 worth of pig shares or whatever it is they're buying. And they keep buying and they keep buying. Then you're going to be like, okay, something big happening. Nobody just does that at, at, at random, all right? And then the price shoots up. So now you have to pay more as a whale to get the same thing. So you don't want to cause undo whatever. <clears throat> now, on the other hand, because nothing has been formally announced, from what I can tell, right, 2 ohm and Piggy Finance have not formally announced it, right, like Twitter, socials, Reddit, whatever they're using, or even on Discord, there is still a little bit of doubt. So for now, people are like, well, let's not go all in, or, which you shouldn't, or, you know, let me take some profits here. You can see the chart over here, let me move this over. So you're like, dee, dee, dee. and of course, that's the point, right? So, uh, well, I guess we could go over the, yeah, we should put in the thing. I'll still do the standard links and stuff. Yeah, because all I care about is the, the only thing I care about is this. What is this? Piggy P share? Oh, LP, right. Okay, yeah, we never checked that. All right, so the base token is called Piggy. It's pegged to one-to-one -one AVAX, so it's above peg. And it's got a daily APR of not too bad, 4.92. It's actually pretty good, so that's 5%. Uh, the pig shares is a slightly lower 4.29% uh, APR, but to be honest, I would rather do this, all right? Because um, again, I don't do boardrooms anymore. In fact, I well, actually I talked about it in the Titano video I just did two videos ago, right? You know, about almost an hour ago. And yeah, my my shit was stuck in the boardroom, right? I had to wait 36 hours, and then I didn't realize I claimed it, so now I had to reset the timer, and they reset it down to four hours, right? Or 24 hours. So 36 hours. So I basically had to wait the full 36 hours to pull this shit out, and then by the time that happened, I literally missed out on all these pig shares that I could have gotten for free. And I would have made six times the amount of money, right, the daily APR, because they made a change to the boardroom, all right, which was just lower the epoch, because I forgot what they what the devs said for Piggy Finance, but they want everybody out of the boardroom for Piggy Finance and into this liquidity pool, <clears throat> and that's why the APR is also higher, which is fine by me. I just want more pig shares, so... Finally, this morning, I finally, because I woke up late, uh, early again today, right, like 4.35 a.m. Uh, I've been eating too much food, so that's why, you know, I have too much energy. Yesterday was a Super Bowl, too. I forgot about it, so I had pizza. I treated myself to pizza and some, a little bit of chips. Yeah, it was like, actually a fun game. It was like, uh, you know, I was constantly online trying to look for the stream, all right? But they finally had something on YouTube, so I just watched that. <clears throat> So yeah, I guess I guess, I, I guess the lawyers at NBC finally gave up after like a couple hours because I'm pretty sure they were copyright striking everything. Yeah, I mean, how cheap do you have to be? Like, if you're fucking NBC, by the way, it's like you know, you used to you watch be able to watch the Super Bowl for free, and then now they're forcing everybody to download a stupid app or get NBC Premium. It's like I fucking hate these these entertainment industries. They're just, like the greediest mother effers ever. But anyway, that was a fun game to watch, though. It was really down to literally the wire. It's like, wow. You know, had, had the losing team, I don't even remember their name. I just know the Bengals won. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. 
Uh, had they actually did that uh, two-point conversion after they got their touchdown, it actually would have gone into overtime. That didn't happen. That's how it goes. So anyway, yeah, you can see the daily APR is going up. And now that I'm doing this video, I now realize I got to actually buy more. Wow, well, yeah. 717 bucks. Yeah. The thing is going straight to the moon. Uh, with that being said, what is the price of Tomb shares? Tomb.finance, I think their site is, right? Uh, 6,000. All right. So basically seven grand at today's current conditions. Okay. So will pig shares hit around seven grand? I think that could be the target. I'd be happy with 3,500. All right, because because again, with all of this stuff that's happening, if true, which I think 99% it, it's probably true, right? We just have to wait for the well, don't wait for the announcement. You just buy in now and you wait, right? Well, not financial advice, of course. It's 721 dollars. Well, it's percent. This thing is going straight up. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so we got some people big buying and they got a little bit of selling afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, piggy, 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 piggy tokens themselves are going straight up as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. How far above pig is this? 1.36, essentially. I'm just rounding because I'm getting sick and tired of talking all these decimals. Okay, so by the time you watch this video, this thing is probably going to be higher. So you can see why I wanted to keep this to myself because I need more money, right? Uh, eventually, I'm going to do a video on Drip Network. So if anyone's not willing to donate me money, you could just do Drip Network. And then I think I get, well, I get an increase in my APY. I think that's how they work. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out later. I right? just have been so backed up <laughs> with work, all right? Not the other kind, <clears throat> the physical kind, that is. So, I mean, that's really all there is to it. So, this is special because, again, the two own partnership is semi confirmed. And, and if it does, and if it's true, which it probably is, 99, I'm 99%, actually, I'm 100% sure, even though I don't actually have the evidence. I don't have hard evidence, I have signal intelligence evidence, right? So, so I know it's probably true, right? Because this doesn't go up by itself, right? People just don't eat into this by itself. You would need a lot of money to push this up. So, because basically the market cap of pig shares went up like $3 million, right? In the middle of everyone dumping everything, in the middle of cryptocurrency fear. So you know who would dump $3 million? Smart money, right? There's a reason why they're called smart money. Right, because they know it's all bullshit. The cryptocurrency drops and fears. In fact, it's probably already back up, right? Yeah, we're already put Bitcoin's already almost forty-three thousand dollars. All right. So, and I haven't, uh, and because I'm doing all these videos, you know, I haven't listened to Greg Manorino yet. In fact, I'm missing Jesse Lee Peterson right now too, my Christian pastor. So, all right. So seven twenty-two. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of this all is. If they are involved to own Piggy Finance, you know Harry E is going to get involved, right? The multi-billionaire big man himself. So, so Harry E, like I've been alluding to in the past couple of videos, obviously wants to go cross-chain. Right? Phantom is his home blockchain, but he obviously recognizes the opportunity that other blockchains present. All right, because you don't get rich like Harry E by being isolated and uncreative and dumb. All right, you're always looking for the next opportunity. All right, Donald Trump, he's always looking for the next opportunity. I guess sometimes there's detriment, right? <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're they're gonna screw him over in 2024 anyway, so I don't know. But maybe things will be different. Who knows? But anyway, the point is, you're always looking for new opportunities. Now that I've been doing a lot of this, yeah, I realize, you know, as much as I like to complain about Metaverse Pro, because, you know, I finally got over that very quickly, I might add. You know, I, actually, I didn't get over any, uh, I couldn't get over it. I have to, like, you know, whatchamacallit, it's like, okay, well, what do I do in my current situation, right? Yada, yada, yada. So the reason why my YouTube content's changing is because I'm doing different things now, right? And it totally works, right? Before I was making 200 bucks with Titano, 170 to $200 a day. 
well, I pretty much dumped all my Titano to do all these tomb forks. I'm not going to tell you how much money I'm making, but yeah, I'm going to make back, te well, technically, I'm pretty close to making back all my money, I think, all right? But <clears throat> I'm also going to make way more than that because my cash flow is pretty nutty right now. And once Zilla Finance, Genesis pull ends in about 11 hours, I think, 10 hours. All right, it's not 12 hours because, I don't know, whatever. Or maybe it, it ends in nine hours. When that shit ends, you know, the, the income I'm, I'm going to generate from Zilla Finance is... <laughs> Unfortunately, that means piggy shares will probably be a lot more expensive. And I kind of need to actually put money into my bank account, too, because I actually didn't realize I will be out of money. I'd be very close to... I like, I'm literally at, like, a couple dollars uh, possibly short, all right? I'm paying my bills, which is going to be due on March 10th. Today is the 14th. So I'm riding the line pretty hard. So, because I haven't been taking, I mean, I've been taking profits, but buying all these projects, especially Tomb Forks. So I'm like, yeah, it's like, this, it's like free money, right? I could pay my stupid bill, or, you know, I can, all right, I guess I could say some things. I can acquire a project that can make me anywhere from like a hundred bucks to like several hundred dollars a day, depending on what happens, right? You know, so, you know I'm, I'm, pre I'm getting so much, so good at these things. So it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, you know, Dow King has more money than me, but eventually he's gotta watch out for me because I'm gonna have more money than him someday, you know. <laughs> You know, but all in good fun. And Chatasar, you know, I don't know if he's into like real estate or something, but I don't know if he's interested in ever like investing in, like Florida or shit. You know, he and I could probably partner on some really big commercial real estate deals. Yeah, because you actually, you actually do want to find like like people you can trust that have a lot of money. Then you guys pull together your money and you buy like you know a five hundred unit you know, apartment complex, all right? And those units could be anything. They could just be giant apartment buildings or in Florida's case, apparently it's just a bunch of condos and mini apartments or mini houses like stuck together, right? That counts as, that's what's considered a unit down there. And then they're all in the same area. So you just need one property management company to do all the heavy lift to do all the work to be honest they charge you generally a smaller fee because it's easier for them right makes sense everything's in in the couple locations so it's a lot easier for them to collect all the rents and stuff and do uh, and do maintenance and whatever then you just get tons of free cash flow you own physical real hard real estate and you get amazing tax benefits right you know because i've said this before i'll say it again the reason why you want commercial real estate is because of the tax benefits you can do it with residential but mo but you know residential is too small you know, right you need you need scale all right if you if you if you have tens of millions of dollars lying around you don't want to buy up like you know 20 one two family houses that's going to be very annoying and difficult to deal with all right that's why you buy apartment buildings that's why rich people buy apartment buildings and some more advanced commercial real estate people do shopping malls well mini storages are pretty simple so i would probably look into something like that uh you can do shopping centers shopping centers are the are pretty high risk but apparently but i mean no, uh, you know you can make a lot of good money, and of course you can do office buildings and shit, all right? So Trump obviously specializes in real estate, so he does all of that. <clears throat> in my case, I would just start with mini storages and like apartment buildings. I may go into commercial, uh, other like, I might go into office building and stuff, even though there's like the. Better be careful what I say, or I'm gonna strike. With uh, everyone working from home because of the thing that happened, right, two years ago, right, and now it's scaling back a little bit. But uh, yeah, I brought all that up because you know you can zero out your income in commercial real estate, but I'm not going to do that personally because you know I don't want the IRS getting pissed off. Uh, Donald Trump, I think, does that. That's why the IRS is always up his ass. So yeah, that's his choice. So whatever. This government is evil. So anyway, now that I'm rambling, that's that. You, know, you can decide what you want to do, but I'm going to personally try to stack more pig shares. At what point will I stop buying pig shares? Probably, 
I don't know, 1,000 to 1,500 is definitely going to be my range. <clears throat> in fact, by by the time that I can pull extra money to put into pig shares, I think that I, uh, this thing, I mean, this thing just jumped $26. Oh, yeah. So this guy bought 86.48. Yeah, it doesn't even take that much money to jack up the price of pig shares. All right, because we're looking at 91.69. And then people are buying a piggy token. Holy crap. There's all, I just noticed this. There's only basically 8,200 tokens. Oh, that is so smart. Oh, that is so smart. So you know what the piggy finance devs did? They're trying to pump up the price of piggy. So what they did was, I guess, figure out a way to like, well, the APR was always shitty in the boardroom. <clears throat> but here's the thing. The less people there are in the boardroom, the less piggy tokens get minted. So that means this has to go up because if you want pig shares, you're going to need a lot of piggy coins. The problem is there's very few piggy coins. That's how they figured out how to force the peg of this thing to go way above. And because of that, and because piggy tokens are really hot, well, now everyone's buying pig shares. Now, normally what would happen would, would be, well, well, you know, we need piggy tokens. So I'll take my pig shares and go into the boardroom, right? So I could print more, you know, income from oink, oink, piggy, piggy. But here's the problem. Because it pays so little, the boardroom, but the liquidity pool, P share, which is what I'm in. Uh, nope, wrong link pigsty because the liquidity pool for the boardroom tokens it pays literally two and a half times more money <clears throat> no one wants to do include and that's this was intentional no one wants to do the boardroom so it's actually this is actually really smart they basically figure out a way to like game theory wise to force up the price of piggy in pictures but because some people will still do the boardroom, you're still minting some piggy tokens, right? So, oh, that's actually pretty smart. It's pretty smart. Harry E chose uh, chose well. I was trying to figure out why would he not choose others, right? Yeah, and then, oh yeah, I'm also doing a new one. I forgot to add that to the content queue because I already did three videos, including this one. So I'm gonna add, uh, but it's called Chicken Farm or something. It looks very similar to Piggy Finance. I'm kind of wondering if these projects are related, but so far I haven't heard anything. So anyway, <clears throat> that's Piggy Finance. I'm losing my voice. It's 9.36 a.m. I'm going to get back to uh, what I normally do, and I don't know when I'll see you next. Um, but of course, I'm always adding new content to the queue, and again... This channel only tries to display legit projects, right? So that's why I always have to wait at least a few days. Now, I always get in early, right? And I reap the benefits of that. But as always, <clears throat> I take the uh, risk that it could be a scam, all right? Also, I'm going to add Scarface Finance. I'm not in that, but everyone in Elite Discord is, like, raging about Scarface. So, you know, I want to get the keywords and search terms for that start collecting you know traffic and subscribers from that too so also scarface was a great movie you know it's, it's like a really cool uh uh whatchamacallit a really cool theme so yeah and i like how the bond icon for piggy finance is a wolf <laughs> funny yeah, i like it i like it and i didn't mention much but the total value locked is 7.8 million so you know that this is pretty good pretty good so, all right. I was trying to figure out why <clears throat> Piggy Finance peg was so high. I'll make sure I write that in the YouTube description. But pretty smart. Pretty effing smart. Well, let's see how it goes. See you next time, next video, whenever that is. I'm going to need at least a couple days off. Unless something major happens and then I have to do a video. But, you know, probably see you in like a few days. Well, not that long. All right. Thanks.
Oh, like, subscribe, share the video around, blah, 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 because, you know, more people that use this, the more price, the more the price will go up. And if you're invested in the project, like I am, I kind of need this price to go up, right? We, that's all we want. So help me help you or help them help you too, community.